Yeah, about when I got that email that said, oh, by the way, there's gonna be no screening for Hellboy in Seattle. So there that is. I was like, I, it's not looking good. Hellboy. Again. All right, so this Hellboy is a reboot or at least retelling of Hellboy. It's a cinematic adaptation of the comic book that's not linked to the Guillermo del Toro movies. This time we have David Harbour as Hellboy. Hellboy is a little demon that was found in World War II, and now he's grown up around people, and he's part of this organization that does paranormal research and wipes out demons. And now we have Mila Jovovich, who plays this blood queen. She's gonna come back, and world's gonna end. Okay, only Hellboy can stop her. Let's go. So, okay, gonna be real. When I was watching this movie, I was like, I don't get why a lot of people hate this. I'm having so some fun with it? That does go away by the end, but for a section, a portion of this movie, I was like, I don't get the big deal, I don't get the huge problem. I'm just saying there's enjoyment threaded in this mess. First of all, David Harbour is a good pick to be cast as Hellboy. I think he would have been better if he had more to work with, like if the minds behind this movie were more in line with good storytelling. It's like everything good in this movie was good in concept and I kind of fell into that for a bit and then it started to melt away and I was like, oh no. Like there's a scene where he fights these three giants in a field. In concept, it's really cool. Like the rock music kicks on. He's just massacring these giants. You get to see how powerful he is. You get a pretty entertaining fight. Clearly on a green screen because oh my God, that was on a green screen. Look, good CGI does not mean good movie, but when it's bad CGI, that does stick out like a sore thumb. This movie does have some bad CGI also, the violence is just, it's violent for the sake of violence. Like, the violence doesn't serve a purpose. We'll bring up the Netflix Castlevania series. In episode one of the Netflix Castlevania series, there's a massacre that happens in this town, but I feel like it was for a point and purpose. First of all, because it's an animation, so they have to let the audience know, hey, this isn't a cartoon, it's an animation, we will take it there if we need to. But also, you have to get the feeling, oh, men, women, children, everyone's being wiped out, everyone's in danger, and it's gonna be bad. But when the violence is happening in this movie, it's just violence for the sake of violence and more blood and people being ripped in half in the screen and, and violence because blood and we're rated R now. I already knew it was rated R because they said fuck enough times for it to be rated R pretty early on in the movie. You don't need to prove it with hyper-violence. I'm just saying if you're gonna have hyper-violence, have it be for a point or at least have it be stylistic. Like example, there is a stylistic violent shot in the movie where Hellboy goes blam and then it zooms out through the hole in the head and the person falls over. I was like, that was pretty stylistic. I like that. Granted, it happened at the end of the movie, but it was pretty stylistic. The rest of it's just bloody crap for the sake of Ooh, look at the blood. Some of the designs in this movie were interesting. Some of the designs were just, they were kind of shitty, if not gross. Like this girl can like have ghosts come out of her mouth, but you would think it would be mist, like that mist that, that's attached to a torso of a ghost. It's not, it's like some weird membrane that looks like the ass of the alien queen from the movie Aliens. Even if that's canonically in line with the comic book, which I don't know if it is, make a change. I'm just saying. It, it was gross. Also the editing, the stitching, the, the weaving of the story. It's pretty sloppy in this movie. There are so many people to talk to in so many different locations, so many locations to go to to get all the pieces of this puzzle. I think they could have focused that up. There are a couple scenes where I was like, that really, it didn't serve much of anything. You could cut that out. Which also brings up another point, this movie feels a bit too long. But it's like, in between these location shifts, they didn't know how to get the people there. So a couple times it's like, oh, we'll just have Hellboy pass out and then he will be in another location because someone will have taken him there. Or it just does some voiceover montage like, on the third age of this and that, and you see people walking and now they're there. How long did it take him to get there? I don't know. I suppose it's a byproduct. There's a lot of story, a lot of backstory, a lot of shit that happened in the year 500. So you gotta give the audience audience a lot of information that happens from the get-go. It's like this weird storytelling eyesore that happens early on and just kind of follows the movie throughout. Whoever weaved this movie together just didn't do the smoothest job. There's actually a villain arc who's the most interesting villain in the movie. He's a pig. But I was more attached to the pig and his axe he has to grind against Hellboy than Miss Blood Queen. Then the movie was like, all right, whatever, push him to the side. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up his arc in a very unfulfilling way because now you have bigger villain, Blood Queen. Come on, guys. But no, bigger villain does not mean better villain. I was more attached to the pig. Give me the pig. Like the best scene or moment in this movie is when Hellboy's met with this moral dilemma, the same one he had in the Guillermo del Toro Hellboy. And it was done better in that Hellboy with more impact. This one was just kind of like, hey, here's the 99 cent version of that moral dilemma. I thought to myself, if I have friends over and we have the drinks flowing, Am I actually ever going to watch this movie again? Probably not. It kind of reminded me of Fan Forstick. Are we still calling it that? Where it's like in concept, I see what they wanted to do with it, but in execution, not really. I'm just saying we're not going to remember this in T minus one day. Yep, already forgot. Which is a bummer because there were a couple things I liked in the movie.
Whatever. All right, so the new Hellboy. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Or the old one? What did you think of it? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.